Curious what your sellers will actually net from the sale of their home? Search to Close has an easy and intuitive way for you to estimate that amount using our Seller Net Proceeds Calculator Tool, or SNP. To begin, go to searchtoclose.com and click the button in the top left titled Seller Net Proceeds. We'll start out with the seller's name, property address, and the county the property is in. This will come into play later on when we're calculating tax prorations. Next, it will ask for an estimated closing date. Some items in a transaction, such as property taxes, are prorated down to the day, and the date entered here is used to help prorate your taxes to the day of closing. It will automatically default to a time within 30 to 60 days out, and if you're not sure of a good closing date, that's okay. You can always edit your SNP after you're done. The Search to Close SNP allows you to enter three different selling prices, giving your client a range to see how the net proceeds could change at different sale prices. The next section involves liens and mortgages, items that need paid off at closing. If you're not sure of the exact payoff amount, you can always leave this section blank and come back to it later on. Up next is tax prorations. Probably the most confusing part of a real estate transaction are property taxes, as they are paid one full year in arrears, meaning the tax bills you and your clients receive are actually for last year's taxes. To find the right info, just click the link below to see that county's tax information. Enter the property address and review the tax information to see what has been paid and what is still owed for the year, if any. If you have any questions about the taxes, please feel free to reach out to us. We are happy to answer any questions, as we know this subject can be a little tricky for homeowners and real estate professionals alike. We're almost done. For this next step, enter the commission amounts, and any additional fees, if any, and any known or expected transaction fees on the next screen. One item to note this credit box at the bottom here is for a credit to the seller, not a credit from the seller. If, for example, the seller is paying some of the buyer's closing costs, this would not be the place to put them. Instead, this box is to make up for any miscellaneous items that would benefit the seller. If you have a credit from the seller, for example, the seller paying part of the buyer's closing costs, this box total costs paid by seller is the perfect place to put that or any other credits from the seller. With that, you're done. Just enter your information, click Generate Report, and the SNP calculations will appear before you. You will also receive an email copy with the ability to click Edit Calculations and get right back into the report to make any changes to your numbers. Now remember, this report is an estimate. While we include as many items as possible to make our SNP as accurate as can be, things can always change throughout a transaction. If you have any questions about the items you see, feel free to reach out. We will be more than happy to answer any questions and go over any line items that you or your clients have questions about. Thank you for your time, thank you for watching, and thank you for supporting your local trusted title partner. Search to close.